This psalm came on my heart so strong tonight. Psalm 57. I felt like it was sent to me as a divine download to research it, to study it, to meditate and to rest in the words. To rest and find refuge in a God who will hold us steady in the storms that are to come and in the storms that already are. A God who promises to be our refuge, our hiding place, our peace, our protection, our covering, our comfort. And so even now we can feel it coursing in our veins that these days of calamity, these days of sorrow and confusion are increasing, but so is the glory of the Lord. So are the remnant of the Lord. So are those who are listening and pressing in, though it costs them everything, they are getting understanding because they know that this world doesn't have what they seek. And so tonight, I pray that God will pour into your soul, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable before our King, and that these words would be carried on the wind and bring a refreshing water to soothe, ease, replenish, and renew every fiber of your being. May these prophetic sounds saturate and minister to every cell of your being that you would remember that your God alone sits on the throne, that we would remember that no matter the trouble to come, our source, our maker, our king, our prince of peace, Jehovah Shalom, will hold us steady. Our God is our refuge our safe place, our strong tower. Any voice tempting us to be afraid, to be anxious, shh. It is silenced even now as the Spirit of the Lord is here. Psalm 57, have mercy on me, my God, have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God most high, to God who vindicates me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. I am in the midst of lions. I am forced to dwell among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. They spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart, O oh God, is steadfast. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake my soul. Awake harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love reaching into the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, 
above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge. Thank you for being the guidance, the grace, and the glory that crowns both heaven and earth. Your people are listening as you move by your spirit to uncover and reveal hidden mysteries and treasures inside of these earthen vessels. It is for the glory and the honor of your kingdom in this hour that we receive this blessing. Keep us steadfast, Lord. Keep us steady. You are forever our refuge. 